Hi everyone, my name is Amber O'Carr and I'm a certified professional dog trainer. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top tips for traveling with your dog in the car. Now, if you know anything about me or you follow me on social media, you'll probably notice that I travel with my dogs and cats regularly in the car. We've done so many road trips with our pets and travel everywhere with our pets that they are so used to traveling in the car and it's something that we love to do together. Now, even though I travel with my pets everywhere, it doesn't always come naturally for every single dog or person when it comes to teaching your dog to travel in the car. So I'm gonna share with you my top tips for traveling with your pet, the ways that I like to travel with my pets in the car, and I'll give you some problem solving tips when it comes to getting them used to the car and making sure that they're comfortable in the car as well. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and maybe get inspired to start traveling to new places with your pets. Let's talk about the best ways and the safest ways to travel with your dog in the car. Number one would be in a crash tested crate. This is going to contain your dog in the safest way possible. And it's also going to prevent some mess in your car as well. However, it's really important to know that not all crates are created equal. A wire crate is not a safe option in the event of a crash. However, there are crates on the market that are specifically made for your car and to keep your dog safe. One thing to note is that a smaller crate may actually be safer for your dog because the more room that your dog has to move around the more likely they are to be jolted around in the event of an accident so a tighter space that will contain your dog and keep them safe in an accident is typically the best and safest thing to do with your dog in the car the next option would be a crash tested harness for your dog in the car my favorite harness is a sleepy pod harness for your dog this is a harness that has been crash tested and proven to keep dogs safe in the car and it attaches to a seat belt so that your dog is able to be restrained safely in the car in the event of an accident. When you are deciding what crash tested crate or harness to use for your dog, I recommend checking out the Center for Pet Safety website. They have a whole list of crates and harnesses that they have actually crash tested where you can see the results of what each of these products did in the event of an accident. Now, if you are unable to use a crash tested crate or a crash tested harness, the next best thing to use for your dog is going to be some sort of restrainment system. We want to make sure our dogs are contained somehow. If I am keeping dogs in the backseat of my car, I personally like to use a bucket cover so that it helps contain the dog when they move around. The more your dog is contained in the car, the better it is for their safety and for yours. So one of the most important things when it comes to traveling with your dog is teaching your dog some traveling car manners. Now, whether you keep your dog in the back of your car, the side of your car, in a crate, or in a harness, it's really important that we teach them to load up into the car on cue, let us situate them either in their harness or their crate, and wait to be released out of the car. It's really crucial that you teach your dog when to get in the car and when to get out of the car, especially when opening a car door can be really dangerous depending on where you are. We don't want our dogs bolting out of the car the second that we open the door. One thing to keep in mind is if your dog is unable to jump into the car by themselves, we want to make sure that we help them out appropriately by having a step, a stool, or a ramp of some kind to help our dogs into the car. Okay, so we're gonna start with our dog outside of the car and some really yummy treats that your dog absolutely loves. If your dog is hesitant to get into the car, make sure you go through these steps very slowly and be very encouraging, always end on a good note. So what we're gonna start with is I'm going to show my dog the treats. Oakley here, good, and reward him for approaching the car and then walk away. Excellent. Now, if your dog is doing really well, we can encourage them to go ahead and jump up into the car. You can toss a treat in there. Okay, go get that. Awesome, make sure they get their treat. And then what we're going to do is ask the dog to sit. Very good. If your dog knows a wait cue, this would be an excellent time to tell them wait. Take a step back, go back and reward your dog. Awesome job, good boy. And then make sure you grab your leash. Okay, release your dog to get out of the car. So bringing a mat that your dog has already practiced a place cue and being calm and relaxed and settled on is going to help them see the car as a place to sit and be calm in. So it's really important that we practice doing this for long periods of time and you might need to sit in the back with your dog in the car for quite some time when you're first teaching them how to behave. So I'm gonna try to go out of the car. Good girl. Continue rewarding that. 
Good girl. Put the leash in the car. Good girl. The door a little bit. Good girl. Good job. Let's close it. As soon as I open it, I'm going to reward her. Excellent job. Good girl. Toss a few down while I get her stool. Grab the leash, reward that as well. So we're teaching her that all she has to do is remain in the car while the door opens and closes. Break. Good girl. Now that we've practiced Whiskey learning how to get in and out of the car properly, we also have to practice what she's supposed to do when we are in the car. So I'm sitting in the driver's seat with her in the back seat. This is a new behavior for her. So I've got a handful of treats ready to reward her for doing the right thing. I'm going to break down the steps of turning on the car, getting everything started so she doesn't freak out about those things. We want to make sure that you practice every single step of traveling with your dog. So what I mean by that is not only practicing how your dog gets in and out of the car, but practicing what your dog does when you start up the car, when the wipers go on. If you're gonna be traveling with your dog at all, we want to make sure that they are comfortable and know what to do every step along the way. Now, one of the most important things to remember is whether you are going to be traveling with your dog in a crash-tested harness or a crash-tested crate, it's really important that you make sure your dog is comfortable with getting into their crate before putting it in the car and comfortable putting on and taking off their harness before attempting it in the car. We always want to go at a very slow pace. We want to make sure that our dogs are happy and comfortable every step along.